some time ago I took a two day break from my home improvements and makeovers and uh, to spend some time with my friend Marita and her wonderful family in a tiny village called Suet Bigarok. Um, and I thought I would love to show you some of the village. It's a tiny village but really beautiful and it's very close to Sakla. And uh, so let me show you around. That was La Plage, the beach, <laughs> and you often find these man-made beaches next to a river, on a riverbed in rural France, um, because these towns are quite far from the sea, so they create their own beaches, some with pebbles, I've seen some with uh, sea sand. <laughs> <laughs> so while they're preparing for the big lunch because there are other people coming as well uh, I thought let me take you on a little tour through the house
to Alex, the French sachet says the best is bread and butter. Yeah. Oops. Mm. I ah, sorry. Oh, I also write a full column for the Daily Maverick, so <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I might just, but I'll, I'll talk to you before. <laughs> Everybody has bread. Stand there and I think yours, yours is on this side. We take out the very, very hot oil and you have to be very, very careful because it's very, very hot. mixture of flour, eggs and milk you pour slowly in in the very hot oil Side here, mm -hmm. what we get, and then we put a dollar of nice cream, fr creme fraiche, fresh cream, uh -huh. and some some smoked trout. Oh, a little bit. So we put some cream with a horseradish, and you can put lemon if you want. I guess. And then we have a little bit of pearls of um, olive oil that we put, like caviar pearls. Okay. And we can put maybe a little bit of lemon. is uh, foie gras, of course, mm -hmm. with some uh, pâté around, so it's stuffed pâté with foie gras. We are going to have some very nice marmalade of, not like the, like the usual feet or others, but we'll have from Spain, we have a marmalade of uh, olive oil. So this, we just have to mix it. Explain. Made of this olive oil. Olive oil jam. It's like olive oil jam. Confiture de okay. or mermelada. With olive oil.
Okay. And fondue come down like, in, like in the Creuse uh, province because there's different kinds of fondue. But this one you can do with the Guéret cheese or with the Camembert. Okay. So you melt that. They will add a little bit of flour and a little bit of cream, uh, sour cream. Right. And cook it and then you eat it normally with either potatoes in chips or other okay. uh, potatoes or omelette. But we'll eat it today with the chips and we are going to make sweet potato chips. Ah. So. Frites uh, patados. Patados, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay, you're supposed, you're supposed to be hungry when you eat this, but well, so I didn't put all that in my Okay, so this is the second entrée, Primera party, like Italian, segundo party. So, they usually Surfed, but I to put the South African touch with uh, patadous, uh, yes. sweet potato chips. Okay. Beautiful. Merci. And then Merci, your the sauce salad. warm. Yeah. Okay. So you that, you're supposed that. to dip it in there and eat mm. like that. Tiene so. la otra, no? Hay otra, hay otra. Por suerte hay otra. People, I want to introduce you to Marita van der Feyre. I've got one of her books here, and um, in South Africa, you will all know who she is. Gritz Krefferspruki, do I say anything more than that? No. <laughs> but uh, for the rest of you, she's very famous in South Africa, and now you've been living in France for how long? About a quarter of a century. We worked out the other day. Right. Yes. Okay. And Marita years. Is, is married to Alain. Mm -hmm. Frenchman, so, and lots of her books have been translated into other languages. Uh, yeah, we have quite a few, we have about, about 13 languages, especially Gritz Krefferspruki, the first one, Entertaining Angels in English, and in French, Héberger les Anges. Um, and we recently have another book, because we're in France, so, you know, like Dutch and German translations, also, <coughs> of course, we're in France. The French translation of um, a youth novel, young adult novel, All That I Viet in Afrikaans, All I Know in English, and Tout Ce Que Je Sais in French. French. And it's a better youth novel, I think, that all ages should be able to read. But it, it has a lot of um, spoken word poetry in it. Okay. And my beautiful Frenchman Alain actually did the translation because he oh, also writes okay. lyrics for songs. So. Wonderful. Now, something very interesting that you should know is that you took a gap year for how long? He's too kind to say it, but it's a geriatric <laughs> gap year, a grey gap year. <laughs> it's, oh, which was supposed to be a year, but we're already in our 15th month now. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> now you're friend. back in yes. France. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We have been back in France for a few months right. and looking for a place to, to actually kind of settle down because okay. all our stuff is in a shipping container. Okay. Uh, and I know the feeling. Yes. <laughs> and actually, it's an incredible freedom right. that I felt. Um, I was anxious in the beginning, but I've been living out of a suitcase for, for 15 months now. Okay. But we fell in love with this very good area. Yeah, yeah. And I think we're probably going and, to And settle. where else did you go during the gap year? Oh, we <laughs> had uh, three, it was like in legs. We had three months, three months, three months, three months. We had okay. three months in, in um, Europe. France, Italy, Portugal, um, not Portugal, we didn't get there, um, to Greece, right? Uh, Switzerland, visiting our children <coughs> and friends who we couldn't see during COVID, that was right. how it started. We have a okay. son who works in, um, in Switzerland, one in Lille in the north of France, one in Lyon, yeah. a daughter in Paris. So we zigzagged and then we had three months in the United States, okay. in a camper van. And then we had three months wow. in South Africa, mainly getting to know the Karua, well, showing Anna the Karua. Oh, um, okay. And then back to France, the last three months of the year, it's been mostly to, to actually start looking out for where sure. we want to settle. Sure. At some place we have to stop living part of a car. <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to have you back in France. <laughs> Thank you.
Sugar free, but not sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> 